Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode we will talk about how we can build custom lists and improvise the productivity speed in Excel. To follow along with me make sure you have a copy of this workbook downloaded using the link in the video description. I have two worksheets on this workbook. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is where you can practice. Let me start. In Excel, we might have to repeat certain data elements again and again, and having a custom list in place will be very handy. For example, if I just type in Jan and drag this down, it will repeat the names of the months that are followed by the Jan. But look what happens when I do the same thing with my department names. If I go ahead and type in HR, the first department name here, and if I drag this down, it's simply going to copy that name downward. So how can I build a custom list so that if I type in HR and drag it down, it should get me these names. Let me show you how we do it. We click on the file on the top, then go to options. And here on the left, you select advanced and scroll down to the bottom. And you have this edit custom list inside the general section. Click on that. Now you can see we have these available lists. We can simply click on this import list option. Just click on that handle and select the cells from where you would like to import that custom list. Now click on import. There we go. We now have a custom list created. Let me click OK. OK again. And now if I type in HR and drag this down, it's now getting me all the names of the rest of the departments on that list. If I drag it further down, it's going to repeat itself after the last department name. So this is how we can create a custom list. Now in here, I have all these departments and the people associated with these departments. How about I sort these names based on departments? If I just click inside departments column and click on A to Z inside the data tab under the sort and filter group, it will sort all these data records by the entries inside department. But what is happening here is it is sorting in alphabetical order by default. Imagine you want to sort based on your choice of elements. For example, here I wish to sort my staff type so that it should show me full time employee first, then it should come to direct contractor, then fixed term and so on. If I just sort it right now, what it is going to do is it is going to get me the third party because there is a number and only after that it will come to the next part that is direct contractor and it will move towards the next one based on the alphabetical order. But I don't want that. I want this to be sorted in this fashion. First full time employee, then I want the direct contractors, then the fixed terms and so on. How can I do that? So for that I will create a custom list again. Let me go to file and click on options, go to advanced and then scroll down completely. And here I have edit custom list. I select that and now I can click on this handle, select the entries I wish to create a custom list and then click on import, click OK and OK again. I now have a custom list created out of staff types. I will click inside staff type column and now I click on the sort button, the big button sort, click on that and in the order, click on that drop down, select custom list and here select the staff type custom list and click OK and OK again. You can see it is now getting me the full time employees first and then after that it will give me the direct contractors and then so on based on the staff type that I have provided inside the custom list. I hope you find this helpful. Practice as much as you can to retain this learning. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please click on that subscribe button and click on that little bell to enable notifications. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Until next time.